I mean, you're useless at this. Greg Davis, welcome to Taskmaster. Dad is back and he's got five naughty children who need to sit on the naughty step. Let's hope they behave themselves and do well in the task because Papa has big slippers and a hair trigger spanking arm. <laughs> Here we go. Please welcome our five formidable fighters. They are Andy Zansma! Emma City, Jack D, and Rosie Dole. And sitting next to me, a man who secretly confessed to me that he finds all women's sport slow, boring, and undignified. <laughs> Well, look, I thought we should go mad at the beginning and have a game of charades. Yeah? Yeah. You up for that? Yep. OK, here we go. This is the only one. Oh, look. Hmm. OK. Can of beans, yeah. yeah. Oh, look, there's Jack D. Oh, but also watch this. Huh? Hello, Greggy! Oh. What is it? <laughs> they can say anything at all. We can say anything. Anything. <laughs> Do you know what it is? What? Jack and the Beans talk. Jack and the Beans talk. <laughs> Good one. Right, first prize task of the series. What's the category, Alex? I was shocked when you told me it, Greg, because it's the best thing that has been inside you. <laughs> I know. <laughs> Unbelievable. My mum's watching this and I've been inside her. <laughs> Five points for the thing he thinks is best, and at the end of the episode, the overall winner will take home something that has been inside each of the four people they've been sitting next to and themselves. <laughs> Yummy in my tummy. Your turn. Andy Saltzman. <laughs> yes, yes, Greg. <laughs> what have you brought that's um, been inside you? Well, the best thing that's been inside me, Greg, is my lung. Here <laughs> is Andy's lung. Oh, mm. the, the winner's going to take home. But that's not Andy's lung, is it? Because otherwise Andy would be dead. <laughs> Well, it just gives me a great incentive to win this show, so I get them back at the end. <laughs> <laughs> have you had those lungs inside you? Yes, I have. You have not? I have. <laughs> you don't like it? I don't like them, no. Mm -hmm. They don't work within the remit of the task, right. and they make me feel sick. Right. <laughs> Baba, what thing have you brought in that I might like that you've had inside you? I brought something that you will definitely like. It is a Jamaican oxtail. It's beautiful. I'm Nigerian, but I love Jamaican food, so that's what I brought. And this is some oxtail stew here. I'm not gonna lie, <laughs> that looks disgusting. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm telling you, it tastes delicious. You know what I'm saying? Has that been inside you? Yes. Same batch? Same batch. I mean, the idea of this, that you bring slightly surprising things in, Baba, you've just brought in the thing that you like to eat. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yes! <laughs> Baba, it looks delicious, apart from the sticks that have been thrown on top of it. <laughs> Emma, what have you brought in that you might have had inside yourself, or you have had inside? So, cos it's the best thing that's been inside you, right? Yes. I have brought in my ex as represented by a USB stick. <laughs> <laughs> so I've uploaded a huge amount of material about his life. It's a bloke. And uh, he is just a legend. Is he an uh, actual legend? Yeah, no, he's not an actual... Well, he's just... <laughs> he's not he's, King Arthur. Excuse me! <laughs> <laughs> well, the winner gets to plug it in and have a good look. And as a boyfriend, what was his best quality? Just, like, nice to be around. He dumped me. <laughs> Do he eject you safely? <laughs> <laughs> he did. He did. Hello, Jack. Hello. You all right? Yes, very well, thank you, Greg. Yeah. OK. <laughs> what have you had inside you? I've brought in uh, my... Well, one of my favourite toothbrushes, um, <laughs> which I had... Uh, I used... I liked it so much, I used it for several years. And, um... Oh. Thank you, yeah. <laughs> so I bought this one in 2012. 
and uh, I used it until 2022 or something. <laughs> Here it is. Oh. No. Yeah, there it is. Jesus yeah. Christ, Jack. Yeah. <laughs> it, it, it did this colour in the end. When we told Jack about the competition, you told him to bring it was to bring in a good prize, right? Not not to just clear out the shit from his garage. <laughs> Rosa Jones, what have you had inside you that you deemed appropriate to bring on the show? It is a letter opener. <laughs> so I have recently started living on my own and I love it. I am naked the whole time. <laughs> <laughs> that means I get a lot of food. Oh, my body. <laughs> 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 and I have recently found out that there's been a smell coming from my belly button. <gasps> <laughs> so the finger won't get it. <gasps> Last week, I got a little bit of umbilical... No! <laughs> no, 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 no. How deep's your belly button? <laughs> That's my favourite Bee Gees song, that. <laughs> <laughs> Has brought in the well, it's Barbara or Andy, isn't it? Is Let's it? face it. OK. So we're going to give Zaltzman and his horrible lungs one point. OK. <laughs> one to Bubba, Andy. two. Two to Bubba. Well yeah, done. incredibly, getting three points is a man who lazily grabbed an old toothbrush on his <laughs> way to the show. Three to Jack. You know, it's such an appalling image. We'll give Rosie Jones five points on this account. There we go. Four to Emma, five to Rosie. <laughs> it's a very strong start. Right, task one. Let's get going. OK, here we go, bro. And hush your sweet, sweet mouth. <laughs> Andy. <laughs> oh, I'll sit here, shall I? Yeah, just in front of uh, Greg. Look at the state of him. My lad, Greg, very serious for me. It's just small more. I'm not going to lie to you, bro. Do not say any of this out of Explain this task a little bit. Not yet. Ooh. <laughs> All right, who are we going to see first? We're going to start with the guy people are already calling Andy Zaltzman. <laughs> <laughs> you right, Andy? Andy? Stop the clock. I could have gone with quesadilla. I feel like it's an opportunity missed.
Um, at what point during the filming process for this show, Andy, did you regret wearing full cricket whites? <laughs> I've never been in a situation in life where I haven't thought this would be better if I was in cricket whites. <laughs> So, uh, no regrets. No regrets. Oh, all right, no. good. That's, yeah. that's encouraging. Do you, um, do you ever regret sitting in a big throne like that? No. Does it not make the rest of your life seem mundane? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I suppose now you've said it, yeah. <laughs> no, Andy did very well. He managed to succeed in 7 minutes 54. Mm -hmm. <laughs> not bad, is it? Two more attempts now and a little bit more explanation from Bubba and Rosie. Stare at camera number one for at least 30 seconds without smiling. an imaginary fly that has just landed on you. <laughs> Look under the sixth, thirty-third, fifty-sixth, and ninety-first letters of this task. What lessons have we got so far, Rosie? X T I. The first one, right? <laughs> What's the second one? E. A. Is it an N? Wait, okay. Seal. You haven't quite finished the task. <laughs> oh, not that seal. No, not that seal. Not that seal. Not that seal. You're a sneaky little bastard, aren't you? Say a word beginning with Q. Fat wounds. Your time started when you stared at the camera. Quiet. Quiet. I've stopped the clock. That's it. That's it. The smiling one. Yeah. That's my Achilles heel. I'm so happy. <laughs> Baba, the seal misdirection, it's the sort of thing this little nerd loves to do. How does it make you feel as a contestant? At the time, I was just like, who's coming up with this nonsense? You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I messed up. You've come to the right show to mess up. Um, <laughs> Rosie, I missed what you said your Achilles heel was. Is it not laughing like a town crier or something? <laughs> <laughs> Basically, I've always got to smile. Cos when I don't smile, people think I'm dead. <laughs> <laughs> There's two people left to see. Emma Siddy and Jack D. I'm tempted to smile at all, Jack. <laughs> S-E-A. Are you guessing the fourth letter? That's my count now. Oh. And I think it's going to matter. It's going to matter. Yeah. Quick. I stole the clock. <sighs> what have you come up with? I mean, the first one I thought I came up with seal. Did you? And I thought that's got a nautical feel to it. That does sound relevant. Yeah. <laughs> Look under the letters. Well, yeah, or whatever those four letters. It's not seal. Well, it's... I think it might be seal. You think it might be seal? Yeah. So I look, oh, OK, so then I find a seal and look underneath it. Well, maybe. That's, that's a walrus. It's a shark. It's a seal. Sea lion, really. Splitting hairs. Ah, oh, OK. What about this seal? 
OK. There was something written there, but it's all come off. Yeah, you ripped it quite hard there. I didn't rip it quite hard. What are you talking about? You were very rough with Don't it. Don't blame me for shoddy props. I'll just go and see if we've got another one. Thanks. Oh, I'll set it on fire. <laughs> I mean, that's pretty good. Faster. Fastest. Good as new. Is there another one coming? This year? Yeah, yes. We're just really sticking it down so it doesn't slip. Well, what's the point of that? That's what's caused all this. <laughs> I've got a task for you. Ah. Best of luck. This is me being patient? Yeah. Maybe this is how you should have done the first one, though. <sighs> Quick. <laughs> well... <laughs> I mean, first things first, let's start with the positives. Emma. Sure. Pretty efficient. Well, yeah, I would I'd argue boringly efficient. You looked under a seat. There was a bit of fun there. Thank you. I really and appreciate that. I'll tell you something else. Yeah. No one winks anymore. <laughs> right. And you did a lovely bawdy wink after it. I didn't mean it to be bawdy. I more meant like, you know, we're all in this together. I've I didn't mean something. sexually bawdy. Fine, fine. I just sorry, mean, yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean <laughs> fun bawdy. Fine. <laughs> what went wrong, Jack? Yeah, well, okay, uh, full disclosure. Within a couple of minutes, I could see what was going on here. I thought, oh dear, they've come up with a duff task. Oh, yeah? And uh, to get some mileage out of it, I'm going to have to find some <laughs> stuff here. <laughs> I should probably cross out what I wrote then. Um, what did you write? Well, I, I say this as a man of a similar vintage, but I wrote, this all feels a bit Grandad's not settled into his home yet. <laughs> <laughs> Emma said the word quick after 3 minutes 58. Jack said the word quick after 41 seconds and 30 minutes. Just over <laughs> half an hour. I want to show you one more, one more little extra bit of Jack. Would you mind? Yes, do, yeah. This tickled me. This is Jack earlier on in the task. I mean, uh, it's not my fault. This is probably quite boring to watch. Oh, it's not boring. OK. Here's <laughs> the first word beginning with Q that anyone said. He said it after three minutes, 32 seconds. So a bit quicker than Emma in the end. Oh. It's cruel. It's cruel. Even I say that's unfair, but I'll take it. <laughs> Sometimes the game can be cruel, Emma. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> so, Baba was the slowest in the end. 17 minutes, 59. One oh, point. Baba. Then Rosie gets two points. And he was the third slowest. Three points. Emma gets four points. But Jack D wins the task in five points. <laughs> wow. wow. I'd love to see a scoreboard, please. All right, well, there are joint leaders at this stage. It is Jack and Emma on eight points. Hey, Here um... they are. Another one, please. <laughs> yes, and we're off to a theme park. Oh, God. <laughs> Why are you standing like that, bro? It's quite windy. I've got a really bad feeling about this. Have you been on any of the rides? No, I haven't, um, because uh, it's closed. <laughs> yes. Yeah. No, Cobra, exactly a hundred cans. You must throw all five balls and pull one rope nice and hard. You must stay on the spot at all times and you may not move the spot. Closest to 100 cans wins. Your time starts now. Let's have a look then. All right, we're going to begin with one man. <laughs> He's dressed as a sportsman, but can he sportsman? It's Andy Zoltzman. <laughs> exactly 100 cans. How many cans are there? I reckon there's 200 cans. 200 cans, right. Uh, I'll do that. OK. I think that's 70 cans down. So this is your right. sport? Pressure is on here. OK. 
Right, I was hoping to get all of them down in one go. I'd say that was unlucky. Oh, damn. What if I throw a tin? You've opened it. Right, I'm running out of balls. Mm. I'm running out of tins. I was doing very well there. I very nearly stopped. That's the most disappointed I've been in a long time. <laughs> that was all very impressive initially. And then, well, what I think is the Zaltzman equivalent of anarchy happened. Yeah. That being, you angrily throw your yoga ball to the left. <laughs> You know, what, what else do you do with yoga balls? I've never really seen what they're for, apart from hurling in a fit of rage. So, <laughs> down. There's some good news. You miscounted at the beginning. You thought there were 200 cans there. Oh, right. There were actually 160 cans there. Oh, right. You knocked over 104 cans. Oh. <laughs> that brings me no joy, uh, because I'm supposed to be good with numbers, and <laughs> that's... Um... Yeah. yeah. Well, there's no pleasing some people. No, there's <laughs> Good start. Who's next? Now it's time for some classic R and B. Rosie and Baba. <laughs> okay, we might need more balls. That's your tactic. Just throw it, isn't it? Yeah, baby. Oh no. Going very high on the sacks. Bro, I didn't do throwing in school, bro. Man's a comedian, bro. Like, what do you think, man? I didn't do javelin. Keep falling, just keep falling. Wait, I'm not done yet. I got this, isn't it? Yeah, baby! Ah! Oh, if I keep going higher, let's go low. Oh, for goodness sake, man. All right, big up. Big up. Later. Neither of you uh, thought to count the cans before you started throwing. Yeah, I'm just going to go for it. You want me to stand there and be like, one, two, three... I ain't doing all of that, right? <laughs> no, no I, I understand that at school you got out of most subjects by telling them <laughs> you were a comedian, it seems. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not doing maths, I'm a comedian. That's it. <laughs> he didn't learn throwing at school. He's a comedian. <laughs> Rosie, there's some awful heartbreaking moments for you. I've never seen the phrase, yeah, baby, so close to the phrase, oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to say that it's so early on in the series, but I can't say before Paul. Oh, <laughs> come on. <laughs> oh, oh, Winky's not having that. <laughs> So you knocked over 47 cans, Rosie. Ah. Oh. Compared to Bubba's 32. <laughs> and finally, uh oh, it's Jack and Emma grouped together again. <laughs> okay, so how many cans are there? 17, 21. So that's going to be. N yeah. <laughs> I can't be bothered. 40. 40. 40 times 4 <laughs> is 160 cans. There's uh, 160 there. 
Are you just getting rid of the balls? So I'm going to try and just get... Ah. OK, I do. OK. My dad played rugby for England. Might actually just come to Daddy. <laughs> oh, God, what a shame, what a shame. This one's pointless, but we'll try anyway. that you don't have, it's actually so difficult. <laughs> so... Oh, that's a disappointment. Yeah. I might be able to use this. If I can hook them over and then... All right. The juxtaposition of the sentence, my dad played rugby for England, and the throws that we witnessed yeah. following that sentence. Yeah. Sounds melodramatic. I think it might destroy your family. <laughs> <laughs> Is it too early in the series to say, I don't have cerebral palsy? <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, she did knock over more than Bubba. She knocked over 36. Which is good. Jack. You've made a career out of not looking very happy. I've got a theory, secretly, you were loving that. I found it cathartic, I suppose, <laughs> Matt. I would, I would do that again, actually. I wouldn't yeah. mind. Yeah. How many cans got knocked out? At least they bothered to count. Yes. Well, I can tell you, we know Bubba was 32, uh, Emma, 36, Rosie, 47, Jack, 68. Oh. So we're approaching 100. Mm. Yeah, obviously, only 104. So, um, yeah. I do want to show you one extra replay, though. Do you mind? Yeah. OK, here we go. <laughs> oh. Nice pop of the leg, though. Lovely pop. <laughs> that means that Andy doesn't get any points. <gasps> oh. oh. Bubba goes up to two points, three to Emma, four to Rosie, and Jack wins the task and five points. Oh, no. <laughs> Alex Horn, play me another task. Just for you, some stunning soapy spheres. Ooh. Oh, hi, Jack. Hi. Right. Yes. Pop into the bubble. <sighs> yeah, it's in there. <laughs> Beautiful thing with bubbles. You have 20 minutes. Your time starts when you haven't said a word beginning with B for five seconds. Right, so I've got, if I want to buy time, I've got to keep babbling on fabulously. Yeah, right. your time started now, Jack. Your time has now started. Your right. time has started. I've had to say a word like that in the time. Emma, your time has started. It started now. Yes, because you didn't say a word beginning with B for five seconds. Oh, not into that. <laughs> Man has to get some soap and make some bubbles. Come on. Can I get naked? How <laughs> that is beautiful. Bubba, you announced um, that you were going to make bubbles in this, the bubble task, as if you'd had a great idea. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> you even said, come on, afterwards. Yeah, man, obviously, you got to get some soap. And, cause I'd do it for the children. Like, if I don't buy, like, bubble solution water, like, you know the one that you can just buy, if I'll do it by myself. And you'll play on your own with bubbles? <laughs> no, for my children. Oh, but you said you, you do it on your own sometimes. <laughs> I like... I make the bubbles. You've got <laughs> to make the bubble solution, and I put it I in the machine. I know how to make then... bubbles, Bubba. <laughs> then, then listen to what I'm listening to you. You clearly ain't. I just want to establish whether you play with bubbles on your own. <laughs> no, I don't play with bubbles on my own, bro. <laughs> what I'm a comedian. <laughs> OK. <laughs> <laughs> OK, the first two we're going to see are Jack D and Bubble Tunde. Oh. Here we go. <laughs> are you into any particular types of bubbles, Jack? Uh, well, champagne I like. I like a bit of champagne. We've got champagne. Where? <laughs> Where's the champagne? <laughs> right, I'm gonna draw my daughter. She's two months and she's so beautiful. Bring it to me. Do you want me to bring you champagne? Yeah, and some glasses. This her arms. We'll do, like, legs. Oh, she is beautiful. This is, uh, vegan, non-alcoholic. Yeah. Is there any other way you can take fun out of champagne? <laughs> we got real chocolate. Get yourself some penguin. Who wants dark chocolate? Like, come on, man, I'm not a psychopath. You know what I'm saying? I'd like you, Alex, to pass this round to the crew so that they all have some. What a beautiful thing, Jack. Yeah, I think, thank you, you've said it. Let's get some flowers. You know what I mean? Should we keep one for Greg? That's a good idea. Which one do you think you'd want? Probably have a pint with me. Ready for this, my guy? I'm ready. Is man mad? Is man mad? To everyone, thank you for having me here and looking after me so nicely. Thank you for... Uh, yeah, I hope you enjoy this drink with me and I wish you peace and happiness and... <laughs> What's wrong with him? and happiness and I uh, hope all your dreams come true. Oh, what a beautiful toast. Thank you. You like that, bro? Yeah. Bringing joy to your heart? How lovely that you involved the crew. I, I, I mean that. It's, yeah. We don't... You know, they work very hard on the show. I know, I nice know, and they never get anything, as they were saying to me earlier. <laughs> no, <I'm sorry. laughs> they don't. You know why? Why? Because Alex... Do you know what he calls them behind their back? Oh, he calls them no. the faceless facilitators of his junior. <laughs> <laughs> it was nice to see them briefly happy, and when I left, they just said, Jack, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Pleased with your attempt? I'm going to own it. Yes, I was. I was pleased with it because, you know, uh, honouring my new baby girl. And yes. that was genuinely sweet, that I was. thought. Can we have a look at the painting of his daughter? <laughs> is it his beautiful 11-week-old daughter? Here she is. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I think I ripped this up afterwards because... I'm ashamed. I can actually draw. You can actually I draw? I can actually draw. I'm a good drawer. Well, you didn't. <laughs> you didn't do art at school. All right, sure. bro. <laughs> Just so you know, he said the word bang every time he drew a thing. He also said that his sperm and genes and DNA were elite. <laughs> <laughs> you should see my son and daughter. I'm telling you, man, they're gorgeous. When my daughter was born, the whole hospital, they were like, oh, my days, she's so gorgeous. Even the really ill people. <laughs> well, it's time for Mr Steps Off the Spot himself. It's Andy's off. <laughs> and action! Beauty and the bubble. I am bubble. Am I beautiful? Tell me, what is beauty? I have dreams of what a sphere can become. But I know change changes change, and the world becomes new again. We create, we destroy. We are destroyed. We were created. Life. Isn't the unexpected? Try the orange! For I know, as a bubble, things never stay the same. Things never change. 
We are all bubbles, bubbles doomed to die. But our beauty lives forever. Work the camera for fuck's sake. Pour homme, pour femme, pour le taskmaster et son petit ami, Alex Hearn. It's pretty incredible. Uh, I, I don't actually have anything negative to say about it. Right? We are all bubbles waiting to burst. Yeah. Well, we are, it's an exploration of the sort of fragility that this show too often shies away from. Andy, I thought it was excellent. Thank you. Who's next in line to do something beautiful with bubbles, Alex? Oh, a top-notch question, Greg, and a lovely voice. <laughs> it's Rosie and Siddy Jones and Emma. Rosie. I'm not Rosie. I am a bubblegum fairy. Oh, light. Oh, Greg. Oh, Greg. I am doing the most beautiful thing with bubbles. A beautiful babe having a bubble bath. <laughs> I am here. So grand your free wishes, but don't tell me them, cause I know them already. <laughs> oh Greg, what are you what doing, doing tonight? tonight? Bubble bath, maybe? <laughs> I know that you want more bubbles. You like bubble gum. Eat a bubble gum. Eat it. Mm, I can't really do bubble gum. Eat it. How much? More. 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 <laughs> Blow bubbles on us so much. Blow. 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 Oh! And now I live one drop. Okay. <laughs> I think what we have to. The three of us have to talk about is your understanding of the word beautiful, probably. <laughs> no, I think I nailed it. Do you? <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, today, it's not been more beautiful in life than. Than the bubblegum fairy? Yeah. Play by the most beautiful woman alive. <laughs> right. Well, I'm not going to comment on your personal beauty because I'm looking only at the character. <laughs> and <laughs> personally, <laughs> I found the bubblegum fairy to be quite irritating. <laughs> <laughs> Emma, let's talk about your beauty. Yes. When you started erotically eating the chocolate, yeah. I think you just looked hammered. <laughs> <laughs> and I, <laughs> I'm very flattered to be offered a bath with a lady, but I would prefer it <laughs> if she hadn't been out for 12 pints. I think beauty's in the eye of the beholder. Yes, and I'm the beholder. Totally fine. <laughs> that, that I do expect. <laughs> yeah. But I, I would you rather share a bath with? <laughs> What, Emma or the, the bubblegum fan? <laughs> well, Emma. <laughs> a hundred times over. <laughs> Sorry, bitch. Sorry. <laughs> Go on, then, Greg. Well, who do you think's going to get one point? 
Right. I'll give you a clue! <laughs> One point to Rosie, well done. Right? Yeah, good. I mean, if the chocolate gobbling woman of nondescript nationality hadn't been so drunk, she might have got more than two points. Two to Emma, got it. I think the sentiment of sharing bubbles with a largely ignored yes. and often much derided crew right. um, with him it is quite beautiful and deserves three points. Three points to Jack, nice. got it. Thanks I'm going to give Baba's beautiful daughter four points. Four, got it. We must recognise artistic genius when we see it, and Andy gets five points. Okay, well done, Andy. Five points. <laughs> okay, then, everyone, please make your way to the stage for your first final task of the show! <laughs> Who's reading the task case? Emma is going to read the task. Is she? Um, I, I hope you'll include a wink in this read. Excuse me. <laughs> <laughs> drink the vinegar. Oh. <laughs> On your turn, you can either drink from one straw or not drink at all and get a clue from Alex instead. You must stand on the spot when choosing your straw and you must never stray from the spot. OK. <laughs> Only the vinegar drinker wins. There's five points at stake here. No-one else will get any points at all, Greg. Wow. They can choose to either tell me which number they're going to drink from and then drink from it. Yep. Or they can get a clue from me. The clue refers to the numbers in front of the straws. Up you come, Rosie. <laughs> so, Rosie, would you like to drink or get a clue? So, I'm going to go for it. OK, which number are you going to drink from? Ten. Off you go. <laughs> Down and... <inside. laughs> <laughs> this is a get flying into happen. <laughs> Have you drunk vinegar? No. <laughs> I like it. Okay. A bit fishy. Yes, it is a bit fishy. It's tomato juice. <laughs> okay, Jack, would you like a clue or a drink? Um, uh, let's try a clue. OK. <laughs> You're such a weird man. <laughs> <laughs> you must now return to your spot. Oh, I see. Oh, clue for next time. I get it. Yeah, got, um, clue, clue. Clue as well? Yeah, clue. yeah. <laughs> clue or drink, brother? I'm going for a drink. Here we go. What number are you going to choose? 16. 16? Wow, confident. I'm not. Do I, it. Don't, I don't like this, man. <laughs> Do you not like a lovely vinegar drink? <laughs> this beer. Is it vinegar? No, that ain't vinegar, but. I don't know. That's all right. It's iced tea. It's iced tea. Iced tea, okay. It's iced tea. It's iced tea. He's not. He's not strong. <laughs> I appreciate that. <laughs> clue or suck? Okay. <laughs> uh, clue, please, Alex. Clue, here it comes. I'm nearly there. Here I am. <laughs> it's a lot of this, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> let, just let me seductively get it out of the way for you. <laughs> OK. <laughs> I'm going to short. But I'm also going to try and get your clue. Cool. I think it's a prime number. I do like them. No. <laughs> so I'm going to go for 17. OK. <laughs> right, Tom. <laughs> those five points. Come down here, we'll see how that affects the final score! <laughs> Very good. So, you getting it, you just guessed it, did you? I thought the clue was a prime number. Why? Cos Alex is so boring. Yeah. <laughs> Do you see the scoreboard? Yeah. It's unbelievable. She was in third place before, but now she's in first place. Rosie Jones has 17 points! <laughs> Episode 1.
please go and collect the things that have been inside your rival. For more Taskmaster, subscribe now!